wow, just wow. The response from our now 3D printing is affordable for everyone video has been insane. The comments, the likes, and the, oh gosh, 8,000 new subscribers, along with almost half a million views in a week. Uh, so loud and clear, more 3D printing. We're gonna make that mod video, which I have a couple tricks up my sleeve. And I took the time because I needed to order parts from China. They were gonna take about a month to get in. I wanted to get the CNC, the compact desktop CNC machine design done so I could order parts and I have finished it which I am now ready to show you. So let's head over to Fusion 360 where I designed this CNC machine. I'm absolutely thrilled with the way it came out. To give you an idea for scale, this is about 16 inches wide and this is about 16 inches long. So 16 by 16 and it will have a cut area of 12 by 12. So I actually haven't finished that yet. I actually ordered a longer ball screw here so that this will extend out and then this will set back. As you can see, it's pretty beefy and you know most CNC machines this size would be belt driven and they would have small rails uh, the V rollers rather than you know fully supported linear bearings I went all out for this thing as strong as I could possibly make it these are 20 millimeter fully supported with 16 millimeter ball screw drive so this thing is not going anywhere I guess I should just tell you my goals for this machine are three things I want it to be compact and this was probably the most challenging part of this design because as I'm looking at parts on eBay, you know, it's only 30, 40 more bucks here and there to make this a huge machine, but that's not the point of it. The point of it is I want it sitting on my workbench or on my desktop, ready to go. So I think a 12 inch by 12 inch by six inch Z axis is the ideal size for me. I wanted it to be affordable. Uh, so far I've ordered all the parts and it's coming in about $700, $750. I'm sure by the time this is over, because this is my first CNC, it'll, it'll jump up to a thousand, but my goal is to keep it under a thousand, and so far that, is ha that has been the case. And my third goal, this was the most important, I wanted it stupid strong. I want it to cut aluminum, I want it to cut wood. Uh, what I realized from my X-Carve experience is that large parts made out of wood, I can cut faster and more reliably on the bandsaw. I don't need, a big CNC machine to do that kind of work for me. What I need is something to cut very precise, small aluminum parts. So that's why I went with such an overbuilt design. This is all half inch aluminum. I also wanted to keep all of these parts uh, small enough that they could be ordered on eBay. So the uh, gantry supports here are actually uh, half inch by six inch by 12 inch flat bar you can get on eBay for $17 a piece. This plate here is a 16 by 24 half inch aluminum plate. I think this is $35 on eBay. I'll probably end up sourcing all of these locally, but everything could be purchased on eBay and shipped internationally. And that was my plan as well. As you can see, the movement here in Fusion was invaluable to me. To be able to join all these parts together just like this and make sure it worked. I don't know how many mistakes I made virtually that if I were to try and build this thing without knowing how to design this in Fusion, I would have I would have wasted quite a lot of money. Uh, so just another shameless plug, I am working on a Fusion 360 course for hobbyists and woodworkers. I'm about a week or two away from releasing that. I'll put an email link in the description. Uh, if you sign up, you'll get a huge discount when it's first released. I think there's almost, there's over 600 people on that list already. So uh, very excited to launch that course and I have a lot a lot of uh, people now counting on me to get that out. To make this, uh, I basically just used a ton of McMaster car parts. I don't know if you know this about Fusion 360, not only is it free software, I forgot to mention that, but you can insert any McMaster car component. And so for example, I just d did uh, linear bearing. Uh, if you go to the carriage and rails, and let's just throw this one in here just for fun. You click one. Uh, and then you go to the right size you want and then you click product detail and you come down and then you choose your step file click save and that will automatically insert McMaster cars component into your design and God bless you McMaster car for catting every single it seems like every single component in your catalog I'm sorry I cannot afford to buy all these parts from you guys because, uh, you know, just one of these bearings would cost close to, if not more, than the entire CNC machine. So anyway, I uh, inserted all of these parts, 
from McMaster and then heavily, heavily modified them to match whatever diagrams I had from my uh, eBay listings. I am so, so excited to get all my parts. It should be beginning of April that I get them and I cannot wait to get this thing put together and test it out. Uh, if it works, of course, I will put together some sort of plans. Um, I don't really have an interest in creating a kit, but maybe I could work with the eBay seller that I've been working with to put together like a drop ship kit kind of thing. I don't know. That's a long way down the line. Let's get the CNC machine working first. I just wanted to share as much information as fast as I could because I'm so excited about this project. I wanted to share it with you. So uh, we will see you in the next one. And as soon as these parts come in, we'll take a look at what we got.